Hey, what up, guys? Welcome to day two of my 31 days of horror. Uh, try to do one every single day. I did miss yesterday, but I'm uploading two today to make up for it. But from here on out, I'm literally going to try my hardest to upload one every single day. Just a lot of stuff happened yesterday, and by the time I was able to make it down, it was dark out, and my lights were all shitty and stuff. But it, it, I promise you it's going to change today. I'm going to upload two today to make up for missing yesterday. So, uh, yeah, we're still on track to do the 31 every day. I got a big stack of movies. I got to knock out. But the one I want to review today is called The Deliberate Stranger, and this is the Warner Archive DVD. And, uh, like, when you order this on Amazon or whatever, it is a burn on demand like it is manufactured from WB but it says the blue bottom and stuff it is a uh, print on demand like they do with like their uh, are you afraid of the dark seasons and they do it with a lot of stuff I don't know if it's press now because I did order this uh, probably like two or three years ago um, and usually they do burn on demand and then they end up printing them so this may be an on a printed disc now but whatever even if it's burn on demand I still recommend scooping this up Especially if you're a fan of uh, true crime stuff and like interested in the Ted Bundy story and all that Because I've been watching a lot of serial killer movies recently and uh, I, I put a review up It was either on my channel or body bags. I'm pretty sure it was this channel I uploaded uh, a review for uh, Anne Rules the stranger beside me which uh, Billy Campbell played Bundy and uh, Barbara Hershey played Anne Rule and I wasn't a fan of the movie. I thought it was really poorly done like, it was okay, but it really grazed over his whole story, and it was just probably, besides the one a few years ago, I'm not talking about the one that was part of that whole set with, like, Dahmer, Gacy, Bundy, or, uh, they were, like, ex you, people watching should know what I'm talking about. They were, like, exclusive to Blockbuster. They were around in, like, maybe 2000, 2001. They did one called Bundy, Gacy. I, I would get up and show them, but... Uh, yeah, but anyways, the one that was part of that series is really well done, but there was one that came out like two or three years after that. I think that Yuli Lamel did it or something, but it's just called Bundy, and, uh, the cover has him, and has like a little, uh, what do you call it, uh, electric chair thing on his head. Uh, that movie was probably the worst Bundy movie I've seen, but The Stranger Beside Me is definitely part of that side but this right here is hands down the best Ted Bundy movie I've ever seen <clears throat> um, it's just it's super well done it's over three hours long it was a made for TV uh, two night event back in 19 I want to say 88 1986 so Bundy wasn't even executed when this came out so you don't get the execution scene at the end but you spend so much time with Bundy in Washington and all his crimes and stuff and uh, it doesn't drag like it's a good movie again into the police procedural work and uh, it's just a really entertaining movie you learn a lot if you know a lot about Bundy you're not necessarily gonna learn anything new but you can appreciate the fact that they're including all these uh, facts that don't ever get talked about into a movie they go into pretty much every victim like uh, you see you see the parents not the real parents but there's actors playing the parents and you see how he have got all these different women and you know the scene where he goes into the Florida college house and kills all the women is pretty well done and uh, pretty much most of the facts are spot-on there's a few things that are kind of wait what you know what I mean like I think it happened a different way but that's very few and far between for the most part this is a really accurate story really entertaining and now I gotta end it with Mark Harmon as Bundy is awesome like uh, I'm a big fan of the I know a lot of people didn't like it but I'm a big fan of the Zac Efron one uh, that extremely shocker shockingly evil ex uh, shockingly wicked extremely evil and vile or something like that I thought Zac Efron did a really good job there were certain looks and scenes where he looked just like him but this there's a lot of scenes where Mark Harmon does a lot of uh, uh, poses or whatever you call them, nuances, that you, he looks all the most like Bundy. I've seen any actor. He dressed just like him. You know, it's a it's a really amazing performance. Like, he should have won a, a what, what do you call it, Grammy? I don't know what it is for TV, but uh, he should have won the award for that. 
Um, as far as, there's not really anybody else that known in the movie, but, uh, cause this was like an 86 made for TV, CBS. So, but yeah, this is like 15 bucks on Amazon still last time I looked it up and it's definitely worth that. You get, like I said, over three hours of entertainment. You're getting a good story, good acting. It's the definitive Ted Bundy movie. Hopefully, uh, Warner Archive releases this on a nice Blu-ray eventually. Um, I don't see it happening though, but you never know. Uh, hopefully they do. Um, that's The Deliberate Stranger. Anyways, guys, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.